Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit about what's in this box and why there's wires attached to it. This is a high frequency ham amateur radio antenna that I just built. This is called an end fed half wave. And there's something in this box that makes it work and we'll talk about that in a minute. First, let's give a little quick uh, talk about some antenna things so that we're all on the same page. Okay, probably the most common type of antenna, other than just a rod or a piece of wire sticking up into the air, is what's called a center-fed dipole half-wave. Dipole means two. And they're half-wave because this is the wavelength here. So that would be one sine wave cycle, okay, for whatever uh, frequency or band that we cut the antenna for and, and in this case let's say it's 40 meters so you know somewhere around 7.1 to 7.3 megahertz is where we'd be using this so that calls for a length of about 66 feet cut that in half 33 so each of these sides is 33 feet long and we feed the antenna in the center we're using a piece of coax so we take one end of the coax and we attach it to one side and say the ground it really doesn't matter which way goes which and we attach it to the other side and with the with our antenna one half wavelength above the ground so 33 feet i'm sorry quarter wavelength above the ground so 33 feet above the ground that is going to give us an impedance of about 70 ohms things around the antenna will affect it but that's the general area what we what a lot of people do and the way my antenna in my yard works is we can take these ends and droop them down just a little bit between 30 and 45 degrees and that will lower the impedance to somewhere around 50 ohms which is the magic number that's what your radio wants 50 ohms so again, this is like the most common antenna in the world, probably. And it's relatively simple to build. However, it does take space. You know, you're going to need 66 feet horizontally or so. Plus, you have to get it up 33 feet in the air. And to hold these ends up, you know, you're going to have to attach them to trees. Or if you're bringing them down, you know, like this, you're going to have to attach the center point to a tree. And these are going to have to have guy lines coming off of them. It's a great antenna, but it takes a little work to get it up and maintain it. So what we're gonna what I've built today, what we're gonna use today, is an end fed half wave. And in this case, we have it 66 feet long, which is you know one cycle of the sine wave. So here's our feed line down here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach that center point right here just like that uh, this ground we're going to attach to a counterpoise wire but it's just like a ground and this is going to give us an impedance of about 2450 ohms how can something that is not connected give you impedance well that's an RF thing I hate that, so I'm not getting into it. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to transform this impedance of 2450 ohms down to something closer to 50 ohms. And it turns out that 2450 divided by 50 turns out to be about 49. So we need a 49 to 1 transformer. And that's what's in the box. All right, here's how we're going to make our transformer. We have our toroid. In the center, this is a number 43 iron ferrite mix uh, toroid. The one I'm using is um, 2 inch diameter and it's 2 inch in height too. That should handle everything we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two pieces of wire. All right. One of them is going to be really long, about 7 feet. And the other one is not going to be so long. It's going to be just a little over a foot. 
and it is going to be wound to one end just like that. And we're using magnet wire, enameled copper wire, okay? So when we put this together, this is going to be our primary, this is going to be our secondary. So if we come over here and look at, whoops, there we, where I've drawn this. So we're going to wrap our two wraps here. One, two, one, two, and then our secondary that 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 we twisted up in here, the short end of it is going to come out over here and attach to the center of our coax. The other wire is going to attach to the shield of our coax and it is going to come over here and attach to our um, counterpoise. So now we have one, two wraps of our primary and we need seven on, the, on each side. So one, two, don't count this one, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to cross underneath here, okay? And it's going to come up over. So we're going under and then over. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 14 comes out and goes up just like that. And that goes to our antenna, and that should give us a 49 to 1 impedance transformer. And that's what's in the box. So the, the box is printed out of a Sane Smart Glossy Black Pet G. And I'm using PET G instead of PLA because it is both more heat tolerant and more UV tolerant. And it's just a simple interference fit. Okay, so let me get you in here as best as I can. Oops. There we go. So our signal's coming in this way. There is our connector. There is our center pin. There is our ground. There is our counterpoise. So there are our two wraps of the uh, primary and then the secondary. Oh, I went this way. One, two. Then that comes out in the secondary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Crosses under. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Through the center. Every time through the center is a count. And fourteen comes over to there. So that is the aerial, the antenna. It is 66 feet long, and it is, uh, I think it's 22 gauge antenna wire that I got from Xtenna off of Etsy. Now my counterpoise is about 17 feet long, it might be a little bit longer, about 17 feet 4 inches, somewhere in that area. And I want it to be about a quarter wave of the longest band I plan to use it on, which is 40 meters, so that will be somewhere in that 17 foot range. So what is the benefit of this versus our, um, our dipole? Well, simply, it's easy to put up and take down. You see right here, I got this little S-hook type carabiner. I throw a line over a tree, attach this to the line. Then all I have to do is pull this up, this end up into the tree, stretch out my counterpoise on the ground, hook this up, and we should be ready to make some contacts. That's what we're going to find out this afternoon when uh, we head off to the park. So I'll see you then. All right, here we are at Tomlinson Run State Park in West Virginia. And there's the antenna on the ground. We're going to head on over here, following it on the ground. And we've thrown a line up into that tree, and there's the wire, and Jim's going to go ahead and pull it up. Keep going about six more feet.
Keep going. Good. All right, the, tree, the wire is in the tree. All right, the antenna is all hooked up and it's set up like a sloper. Heading up to about, probably about 30 feet or so. And in that tree down there, whoop, come back. There we go. And it's right now coming into the back of the Shegu G90, being powered by the little Pecron power bank there. And we're gonna find out how I did on my antenna building next. All right, so everything is hooked up, set up. This is the seven meter band and we will run a sweep. And it is beautiful. One, what's, uh, what's our lowest reading there? I can't read it. 1.2. 1.2. CQ, 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 Parks on the Air. This is Whiskey Whiskey 8, Papa Romeo, calling CQ Parks on the Air from Tomlinson Run State Park in West Virginia, standing by for your call. Park to Park, uh, Victor Yankee 2, Alpha November, Park to Park. Victor Yankee 2, Alpha November, Park to Park. Wow, you are a 5'9 here in the park, US 0629. How copy? Yeah, you have a great signal as well, 5'9. And I have a trooper for you, Charlie Alpha 6138 and Charlie Alpha 5082. QSL? QSL on the Charlie Alpha uh, 61. Two three and eight. I'm sorry six one two eight and six one eight two eight two QSL. Hello, the first one is six one three eight thirty eight, mm. and the second one is five zero eight two QSL. QSL six one three eight and five zero eight two. Roger, Roger. Thank you for the park to park and seven eight three. Roger, Roger. Stand by for second operator, please. So there you have it, our antenna experiment for a, uh, what, 40 through 10 meter N-fed half-wave antenna with a 49 to 1 transformer. It worked okay. Um, apparently there was another X-class solar flare yesterday when we were out in the park. So that may have uh, added a little bit to our communication difficulties. But yeah, it worked all right. I'm still a fan of the dipole, but this is really easy to put up and take down, so... Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.